tail's like fat too. Good morning, kitty cat. Kitty cat, good morning. Oh, you little kitty cat. You're so cute. I don't speak Japanese. You gotta talk to me in English. Hey, little kitty cat. You want some fish? <laughs> kitty cat. Meow. 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 Bye, kitty cat. I hope you live there. Or else you're breaking and entering into someone's home. Oh, maybe he does live there. He just hanging out on the carpet. Now he's digging into the carpet. All right. So it's pretty much 6 a.m. in the morning right now, and we're in Tokyo. That's where we've been staying. But you hear that? You hear the leaves? That is crazy. We're in the middle of a city and it's so quiet. Watch, listen. You don't hear shit. This is amazing. You know, like in a, so Taiwan is similar um, to Tokyo, like we talked about before, but Taiwan is way noisier because instead of riding bicycles, everyone has a scooter. So it could be like three or 4 a.m. in the morning and you'll hear city never dies down and there's so much smog everywhere but this place is so quiet you can hear like individual homes wake up it's so beautiful the homie blee the homie tlee the homie slee and the homie glee and the homie glee and the homie Malie. And the homie. No one else behind Michael. Everyone is up. At least the people in our group, in our house. How did you sleep, Case? Fantastic. I got home, decided to Instagram for a bit, and passed out. <laughs> next thing I know, I woke up like five o'clock in the morning, took a shit. <laughs> Dang. Oh, you know what I love about this place? What? The shitting experience. Yeah. Do you use the bidet? Yes. It's Every awesome. Single Every single time. I'm so spoiled now that I was at the um, the resting station yesterday, and after I took a shit, I assumed that there was gonna be a bidet, and then I'm like. I kept pressing all the buttons on the side, and they were just to uh, turn off the heat warmer of the seat. Oh. And I'm like, fuck, oh, you like the heat warmer. I love that, too. I'm like, fuck, it's not spraying. It's not spraying. And I just felt like I had a dirty butthole the whole day. <laughs> you know what's funny? What? She, she was using... Oh, I have mine right here. Okay, well, we just have to... Okay. Everything's right here. Give me your I keep everything close to the chest. Now, what's funny was uh, the other day, she, she was using my phone for something. And she was using Safari on the iPhone, so she was using the internet. And then she saw the last thing I googled, and the last thing I googled was, <laughs> "How do you, how do, you, or can you, can you uh, install a Japanese toilet in America?" And what's the verdict? And you can. So I'm I'm getting that. one. And I, I want to get one too. Like last one. You have a bidet? I do have a bidet. My Did it come with the house, or you bought no, it? No, my parents bought a bidet. Like, I think oh. we went to Taiwan and my uncle has one, right? And then they were like, oh shit, I really like this as well. But I personally don't like it because I feel like when you turn on like the, um, the, uh, the you know, like the, the water jet, it kind of tickles my butt. And I don't really like that. But your butt's so clean. I like to use like my own hand better. What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I feel like there's more control. Yeah, all right. There's way more control when you do it with your hand rather than have like a butt, you know, like a water jet shoot into your butt. I, I spread my butt cheeks and I let it spray it all the way in there. Ooh, I don't know about that That's one. It's super clean. What the heck are those two clowns doing? What the heck? What time is it? it is... I think it's 6 o'clock. It's like 6.40. 6 o'clock. It's, well, mm, it's kind of now? later than... It's like 6.40 to be... Are we behind schedule? We're totally behind schedule, but I'm proud of you because you're up. I, I know. I don't remember... It's before, like, I'm humanly 3 p.m., okay? Anything before 3 p.m. Anything before <laughs> 3 p.m. is a miracle for me. So you guys are seeing me at my worst right we now. We are very you're proud insane. of you. You're <laughs> insane. All right. Let's get the show on the road. Let's go. You're bowing. What is awesome about Japanese 7-Elevens is that they have a hot drink section, which is what Baby, I got. Crab meat. crab meat? Yeah, it's one of these. 
Can you grab me one? It's so good. I think it's this one. How old did you try? David. Grab me one then. But before I was rudely interrupted, oh, sorry. I was sharing with you guys how awesome it is to have a hot drink section in 7-Eleven because sometimes you want a cold drink, but there are times you also want a hot drink. I grabbed the wrong one. I got milk tea. I want a coffee. God damn it. All right. I need to get a coffee. Is this a coffee? Oh, this is a coffee. I see you have the same idea. You're getting a warm coffee and a turtle shell bread. It's a Japanese concha. The Japanese concha. I tried it. I think my favorite one is still the Taiwan style concha. Probably. Look at all the yummy fried foods they have for breakfast. I also got a korokke. Arigato. Thank you. Thank you. Trash can, napkins, utensils. All right. All right. Time to party, man. Okay. Can I have my korokke? It's delicious. I heard you guys spent like a thousand dollars. It's crazy. Hey, have you had it's the, really uh, you know that Korean green grape grape where it has the grapes inside? Yeah. That's exactly what the grapes taste like here. What? Yeah. You know when, we were, when I was a kid I was drinking, I didn't, oh, the grapes don't taste like this. Yeah. Their grapes taste like that here. What? Yeah. That's insane. My shits were so <laughs> dank because of that. <laughs> it smelled like fruit roll up. It was majestic. <laughs> oh. Oh, David put Gio on these things. Okay, see. That's number two. Oh. Oh, how are you doing? Number one. Okay, you're fired, Gina. Oh, you've been hired. It's right here. here. Okay, I don't know. Here. Here. Yeah. Why don't you show him since you're so smart, you freaking big headed bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Me or her? Uh, no. You call us both big headed uh, bitches. Oh, uh, beautiful. Oh, I bought number the wrong one. one. Oh, I bought the wrong one. What did you get? The wasabi one? No, there's like something <laughs> sour. It's like a sour oh, it's plum one. Oh, that no, thing is crazy. If you're, if you're not ready for it, I'll punch you in the oh, face. Oh god, I'm so awake right now. Oh my goodness, that's that. You gonna make one for me? No. Thank you, my friend. Alright. How was the crab stick roll? Amazing. You know what's awesome? Mm. That they pre-package it so that the seaweed doesn't get soggy. They have the seaweed separate, so you put it together mm -hmm. by yourself. Watch, take another bite. It was so crispy. I really did. So, give me a bite then. Watch. Hurry, hurry, hurry. You hear that? You hear that? We're late. Why are we always late? Because you wanted to fuck her now. No. Uh -huh. Michael. Yes? What are we doing today? So we are going on a fish market food tour. Ooh. So what that means is that we're going to go to the fish market where there's a lot of being fish being sold. Also a lot of other things as well. Is that the marketplace where they bring in the fresh fish and then the fish markets have to bid over who gets the top cut? Yeah, that's the one. But we already missed that part because that, the tuna auction happens at like 3.30 in the morning. God damn. But we're going to see some other cool stuff though, I think. Cool. And which line do you have to take? We're gonna take this one over here with some uh, characters that none of us can really read. The Just something. Ah, there's characters over there, and it says <laughs> Akabane Awabuchi Uraua Misuno, the Nishi Takashima Dara. -ai. Is that the one we're taking? Uh, yeah. Whatever Bart said, that is correct. I just saw it. Nishi Takaruka Wuhu. We're in Hawaii. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. <laughs> Who groped you? Wait, did someone grope you? No. Oh, I thought you got lucky no, yesterday. Who knows I about know? it? Me oh, neither. Okay, so I you know, first and only ever. Oh no, wait. We already went. To well, we went to go eat at that anyway, one. Uh, we Philip went to my joint. first ever strip club uh, was in TJ. <laughs> you at the nicest, like the most fanciest strip club, which is there. called Hong oh, yeah. Kong. Okay. That's the first time I ever saw on it. On the street called Adelita. And, all the and then you explained it to me. I was like, what the fuck and, uh, is that? So but it's still in TJ, so it's probably not that nice, right? Exactly. It's like yeah. super ghetto and run down. So I'm there, and I'm, I have pants on. Like, they are accepting I, job applications, though. <laughs> I, I was fitted. <laughs> no, so I had pants on. Like, you know, I did not look like a stripper at all. So I'm walking in, and the like it seems like he's the owner or something, because there's some Chinese dude by the door. And like he just looks at me, he goes like this, and he goes right 
He goes like this. <gasps> what? Like, what the fuck? Who does that? Are you serious? So he gave you a high five. Or a low five. What is this called? A pep smear? Is that what we call that? Is that what we call that? He gave you the Hong Kong slide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I looked at him and I was like, what the fuck? But I was in so much shock. Like, I didn't, I didn't know what to do. I wanted to slap him. There are so many things in your head that you always want to do when yes. some shit goes down. <laughs> but what happens is you come back to it, you're like, you know what I would have done? Exactly, that's me. You gotta do this. I can't take action. Do it. Or let us know this time. We'll all jump them. You got like 20 people here. You got like 20 people here. Last time when your house almost got broken into, you have any idea how hyped all three of us got? No. Especially Dude, Joe and the cat <laughs> and his cat shirt and the fanny pack. <laughs> <laughs> two positive cats and fatty neck is like, I'm ready to go! He's like, don't tell Casey what's going on. I mean, tell Casey not to do anything. Oh. <laughs> Time to get in. Da -da -da. We gotta smash into this motherfucker. So this is Japanese traditiones. You gotta smash in. But I gotta be with my bae. I gotta be with my mom bae. Almost. I almost fell. I love you, mom bae. They're fucking cute as shit, not like that ugly face. That's just quiet as fuck, son. Cute ass bear bandits or raccoons. Whatever the hell they are. Fucking cute as shit. Da -da -da. Everyone getting on the escalator. The escalator. The Hwanji Buddhist Temple. This doesn't look Buddhist at all. It looks very Western, but it looks beautiful nonetheless. The heck, there's a Corvette. There's a. There's a Corvette, an American sports car, at a Buddhist temple. Interesting. It's a Corvette. Corvettes are American. Interesting. Hey, do you guys want to go together, you four? Or? You split in four groups. Okay, a Bart right here, Gio, <laughs> uh, Casey. That's one group. Oh. We're going to split into four groups. Okay, you guys can go together. What the heck? What? What the heck are you guys doing? I need to be with your Wi Fi. Oh, oh, right. you have the wi -Fi? oh yeah. Can you guys have your Wi Fi? Uh, Michael has it. Can you go with them? Is that cool or do you well, want to? I, 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 I like your camera. You could connect. Why? What does it matter? Is it, it's it's just like the um, yeah. there's limited space in the market, so they don't want like huge groups of like. Yeah, they were gonna get split up, I think. Oh, were they? Oh, okay, if they're gonna get split up, then that's fine. Hey, Casey, why don't you come with um? I guess just me and you. And okay. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, three, four, three, four, four, three, three, and then walk over here. Okay, I mean, there we go. Is that okay? So, yeah. Us three, do you have a Wi-Fi device? Oh, it doesn't matter. I have a Wi-Fi. Okay, so those three, those four, those four, and then... Well, I think all three of us have a Wi-Fi, right? Yeah, all three of us have Wi-Fi. So should we give one to them? Do you guys have a Wi-Fi? 
I don't have you. a device. Oh, he doesn't have it. Should we give it to him? One of yours? You guys have a Wi-Fi? Oh, yeah. oh, why are you all going to do that? Me? Yeah. Too much. So may I have your name? My name is Bart. B A R T. Yeah, Park Sun. Okay. Bart. Bart. B. 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 Bart. 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 B. A. R. Yes, perfect. Geo. G. E. O. G. E. O. Geo. 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 I, I, and L, A, N, A, okay. Vagina San, yeah. So thank you very much for joining us. Uh, thank you. Thank you for having us. <laughs> <laughs> and first, I will give you today's menu. Oh. Si. Oh, fresh oyster. Fresh oyster, Japanese omelette, dry bonito, Japanese tea, sake, sushi. And either in I eat everything. Can you? Do you think you can eat? Everybody. Yeah. yeah. Everything. Yeah. Okay. And three no wasabi. Uh, okay. Yeah. No wasabi. Okay. Uh, and one no wasabi. No wasabi. Me, no wasabi. me too. No wasabi. Everything. All of us. Yeah. Oh, all of us. Yeah. yeah. No wasabi. No wasabi. On the side. Wasabi on the side, but not inside. On the side. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Please remember the three words after the four words. The one. Arigato. Arigato. Uh, for thank you. And uh, oishi. 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 Yummy. 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 Yes. And the sumimasan is sumimasan. Sumimasan. Or I'm sorry. Sumimasan. Yeah. Okay. Sumimasan. 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 Sumim
baseball stadium. Yeah. Yes. So we enter here and we grab some. The first egg omelet inside. Okay. Egg omelet. Egg omelet. Egg omelet. Egg omelet. Okay. We're on this street with a bunch of popular eateries and it's just all like street stands and there's, you can see lines are already forming, there's markets it's a hustling and bustling place and you can buy all kinds of stuff like containers, seaweed, plums, dates, preserved foods and a lot of uh, I guess trade and a lot of <laughs> not bartering but a lot of sales go down here because a lot of this is where I would say this is like a food district. So they have a ton of yummy food and everything is super fresh. Oh my goodness. Look at all that uni. Oh man, uni is sea urchin. Uh, this is our third day here. There's more. There's all kinds of food. Ramen shops, udon shops. What is this, like a hot pot place? That is the Asahi newspaper building and it's one of the biggest newspapers in Japan coincidentally it's also the same company that makes Asahi beer so in Japan and a lot of Asian countries they just have these big conglomerate companies like Samsung make cell phones and TVs but they also are a construction company and I believe the tallest building in Dubai is also a Samsung uh, building so that's how a lot of Asian companies are structured where instead of building out all these smaller brands and uh, having different marketing for all of them they just have huge conglomerate companies that do everything like Mitsubishi makes cars and big screen TVs <laughs> 100 It looks very industrial because this is the hustle and bustle of the city where all the food distribution sales go down. And they're having a forklift race. Who's gonna win? Dun, da, 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 da. Here you'll see a lot of lines forming for all the sushi restaurants that are on this block for all the fresh yummy fish. So this is our first stop. We're about to get some tamago which is the egg omelet thing and I guess we're at an egg omelet specialty place and everyone already has theirs but we don't have ours yet oh that looks yummy look at that Arigato. we get our egg here you go thank you can you eat yours? Yeah. Oh, busy street. Here you go. It's so warm. What is that? Yeah. It's sweet. It's like warm. Is it very yummy? Egg omelet. It's sweet, okay? Yeah, it's sweet, yes. It tastes like sweet corn. Oh. Yeah. How do they make it? I will show you how to make it later. Oh, okay. Store. Mm. Yep. I've never had this warm before. So in the States, they always serve this with sushi and it's always cold. Oh, picture. Oh, this is yummy. So in the States, I always get this in the sushi sets, but I've never gotten it warm. And getting it warm is a 
whole different experience. It's delicious and it's huge. So, this sushi restaurant, Nyamato, and the other one over here, Sushi Dai, it's uh, featured in the magazine Lonely Planet and they're really famous. Three to four hour wait, yeah. Three, Three to four, four hour wait. Three to four hour wait. Yeah. Originally, for the workers, you know, and they come here in reality for, you know, Participating in auction. Oh, so wow. these shops open at five, but nowadays <laughs> many tourists come before five o'clock oh. in the morning. Oh. Making, you know, line. So was this place originally for the workers, and yeah. then other yes. people heard oh, about it? Actually, so you see some the dentist or some the cleaning, oh. you know. <laughs> yeah. That's very cool. That's why they don't like us. Some shops they don't like the foreigners. Dentists. I know. We're the ones causing the lines. Sorry. Online, you don't. It does. So this is the line, it doesn't end there. It goes all the way over here, and it goes all the way to the back. That's how that famous so this place curious. is. You know Michael actually ate here before? Oh, this is the one where he said he waited three, four hours, and then um, he was feeling sick, so it didn't taste very well. But it was still no, he good, said, right? He said it was the best sushi he ever had. Oh, really? Yeah. He said even though it was si he was oh, sick, he, he still it. tasted it. And it was the best sushi he ever had. I mean, what? 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 What's awesome about Japanese presentation, it's they like only have picture perfect specimens. Look at these onions and mushrooms. I know. Look at these lemons. Holy crap. Wow. Look at these peppers. They're like plastic. It's insane. Now, look at this. So everything stays very organized. So that's 3329. Oh, that's so Everyone smart. Knows where they're going. It's like their address. That's smart. Look at that. Look at these mushrooms. Everything is perfect. Look how red these carrots are. Mashutake? Nice to meet you. It's a premium. Oh. Oh, truffles. Oh, these are truffles? Ooh. 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 So fancy. <laughs> Is it from the United States? Oh, like one box goes to one Saturn here. This is from Turkey. Oh, do you see the price of over 20? Oh, yeah, they get more and more expensive. That's Japan, I see. Domestic. So, America's Domestic. bad, it sucks. <laughs> Japanese yeah. is good, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's the best. But like, actually, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. <laughs> But look at these lemons, holy crap. That's one thing that I really like about Japan is that it's not about quantity, it's about quality. Look at these blueberries, these kiwis, everything is picture perfect. The way they grow things out here is uh, they don't use very many, uh, I think everything is organic pretty much. I think everything is pretty much organic and even the yolk and the eggs that we use are all like super orange and yellow looking. Yeah, Bugs Bunny carrots. We can just really enjoy the color. Yeah. Look at it compared yeah. to my hand. Imagine if Olaf had that nose. Everyone would be fun of him. Boy, it's a nose ring. Uh, call it red. Oh, no, no, I did it. I just compared. Yeah, I know. Don't yeah. get your dirty American fingers off of it. Just comparing. Uh, no, 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 no. I know. I <laughs> so, this is the real wasabi root. Look at that. So real wasabi comes from a root. Most of the stuff that we eat, when it's all pasty, it's actually a fake one. I think it's horseradish or something. When it's real wasabi, it has a kind of a pulp to it. Oh, really? Not spicy, like, because we usually, we usually use it wasabi in two, yes? But it's not like That one's like horseradish. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the color, you know, oh, you're good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The real one is really it's light. Yeah. Oh, maybe I can eat it. Wow. Yeah. You should give us the tour. I did. I just gave the tour on camera. No. No flash, What's going on right now? The auction of the melon. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They are the buyers. Oh. And the sellers, you know, so with the green shirt. Yeah. Saying some of the, the price, you know, to buy this mm. like carton of melon. And I the see. buyer shows the price. 
This warehouse is huge. It goes as far as the eyes can see. Look at that, they're all over there now. Wow, oh okay, in someone's way. Sorry about that. Holy crap, look how beautiful these melons are. Wow, it's amazing. That is amazing. So we just entered into the fish market and uh, we just covered the vegetable section. Now we're in the fish section and it smells like the ocean in here and everything looks so amazing. The presentation that we saw for the vegetables stays true for the seafood. Oh, is this kelp? Seaweed. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. The fisher burned the hand that killed the under the boat and the herring cow and it put the eggs oh. on the eggs. Oh, that's what we were served. Oh, so these are herring oh. eggs. Herring eggs. Oh, that's I see. <laughs> so that's like how that. they get the herring oh. eggs. Oh, yeah. Oh. I like the mixture eggs. I see. So that's how they get herring eggs. They get the kelp, they hang it out, and then the herring comes and lays their eggs on the kelp. This is salmon. Look at all the fish and the presentation. Every single fish gets its own little styrofoam box. Oh, look at all this fish. Clams. More fish on the right. Squid. Mollusks. Wow, look at that big piece of fish. More fish. More shellfish. Wow. Ooh, uni. This is morbid. What is <laughs> they're that? All alive. Oh, they're keeping them fresh. Look at that big fish head. Holy crap, that thing's huge. Wow. We got more squid here, seashells. Octopus, look at the presentation of the octopus. Wow, look at this big fish. Wow, look how big these seashells are. Scallops. Oh, I've never even seen scallops in its wild form. Very cool. You're a gooey duck. You're a gooey duck. What do you think yeah, about all nice. this fish, Mom Bear? This is intense. Um, I mean, I'm happy to see that it's all going to be put to good use. It's going to be consumed. Um, I noticed that they use every single part of the fish, so it makes me really happy, at least. They like to make soup to out of the fish heads and stuff, too. Yeah, so there's like nothing that's not... Oh, it's okay. Thank you. Uh, he was asking if it was okay that he turns off the light. So it's going to mess up with their lighting. Oh, yeah. What a nice culture they are. I know, I love it. Really? They're so considerate of everyone. Yeah. They yeah. are? Yeah. See? Because he's turning these off. I think they're done for the day. Yeah, this is amazing to see this. I've never experienced this in my life. Look how big that fish is. No, wow. Here. Those are huge. This wow. is one. This is multiple. Wow. Look at the fish. Holy guacamole. Look at that big fish fillet. That is beautiful. Wow, wow that looks delicious. Damn. They treat it like it's a precious gem, which it is, because it sells for big bucks. But oh my goodness, look how big that filet is. Look at this big tuna head. Holy guacamole. This thing is huge. Whoa. The eyeball is like way bigger than my thumb. That thing is huge. Wow. Big tuna head. What did you say? Did you say the Japanese eats every single piece? Everything, yeah. Mm. I learned that, you know, the eyeball, they're jelly like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, yeah. And the chin and the, the collar. 
Yeah. yeah. Uh, what I was telling Bart before he started recording was that I, I actually like the presentation here and I don't feel bad for these animals. One, because they use every single part of the animal and two, because of the presentation is very neat and it's super respectful like you leave them on ice. Obviously it's for the flavor and everything but I just feel like they're still honoring the animal and they're like they're still respecting it even at like at this point so I don't feel bad. You know what I really like about the way that they care and, and uh, handle the food here is that they treat it with a lot of respect and the fish they don't just throw around like it's no, a piece of trash. it's like gold. So because they treat it with such high regard it's like um, I feel like it's treasured and it's not a land of abundance like America you know right. like for us it's like we let's say we get 20 chickens three of them look sick you're like let's just throw those throw three away yeah. but these guys it's like every single chicken matters every single chicken is gonna reach someone that's gonna eat it and we're gonna yeah. make sure that all these chickens are treated well and they're gonna be the healthiest chickens ever yeah and that's why a lot of their yolk like the eggs out here the yolk is orange and it's because of that um, it's because they treat them very well and they feed them very organic food this is what I was told. I don't know, but I'm taking their word for it. Um, yeah. Well, you could even tell just from the fruits and the melons and stuff. Yeah. Like they treat every ingredient as if it's gold and they do their best to create the best ingredients right. for their cuisine. I agree. And, and I also think that's probably not a coincidence why some of the longest living humans are all from Japan. Yeah. Because they, they like respect each other. There's this, this, this like understanding that everyone has on this island and I think it's beautiful. I love Japan. I don't want to go home. I want to go home. I miss my bears. Me too. Let's ship them back over here. Fine. So now we've come across salted and dried fish. Is this mackerel? Yes, mackerel. Mackerel. Yes. Mm. Mackerel, mackerel. Uh, mackerel. Mackerel. Oh yeah, almost all are mackerel, huh? Yeah. He's just cutting the fish out. He's throwing the what? Yeah. He's so fast. Man, look how sharp that knife is. Descaling, taking all the scales off. So fast. And then now he's gonna cut the fish, take out the stuff that's not edible. That's so cool. Yeah, look how strong his fingers are. He's been doing this for years. This guy knows what's up. So cool. So cool to see a master at work. I bet this fool can fillet all of us in two seconds. Right? Yeah, for sure. That right? Hell yeah. These are king crabs. Look how huge they are. Look how huge they are. That's my hand. Don't bite me. And there's more crab over here. And there's big tuna bodies over there. Look at that head. That thing is that huge. The eyeball? Yeah. This thing is huge. After being here, I have such a new appreciation for not only fish, but also just all cuisine in general. And I feel like because we live in a modern society, the way our food is shaped and prepared, it's so far removed from its original form. Like for example, a steak. Like we don't see the fur, we don't see the eyeballs, we don't see the horns or anything like that. And it's so far removed that it's just, it has grill marks, it has like a weird like shape that we're disconnected from our food. And so now when we see the slaughtering of an animal, like we, we, we feel that it's cruel, although there are cruel practices, when we prepare an animal to be eaten, that's normal. Like that's part of our omnivorous uh, nature, right? Where we eat both vegetables and meat. And to see a fish be prepared from its whole form to then its its uh, partial form, and then now as like nigiri sushi on a piece of rice, where it's almost an art form. To see that whole process happen, it gives me a completely new respect for the way food is prepared and now with every single bite I'll remember to know that this actually came from a living animal and to not waste any food and to not and, and to have a, a greater appreciation for all types of vegetables and meats. Very Soft shell turtles. They're still alive that's why they're in the bag because they could bite you. They could bite? Yeah, and then eat the meat, all 
and some people drink the flat with wine. And sometimes you see some just a tiny bit. <laughs> Your face looks crazy. <laughs> <laughs> You drink their blood. My dad made turtle soup before. With your turtle, right? Or no, that's no, not else. my turtle. No, that's because someone else. Yeah, I remember you know, he bought it from the market. He bought it from the market. Yeah. Actually, in China, maybe they sell their, you know, the powder of the, this turtle powder. powder. powder or, you know, the medicine, Chinese medicine. Oh, cool. Uh, the dry. There's turtle power. <laughs> Turtles in a hassle. Turtle oh powder. My God. Stop it. <laughs> Look at all these live fish. Holy guacamole. I was told that these guys are very slimy, so you don't want to touch them. So just to give you some perspective, these fillets are $52, $43, $53, and a little bit smaller than my hand. And if you buy a whole tuna, like a name brand tuna, which they have, because depending on the fishermen and the regions, they have name brand tuna. A whole tuna could even cost you $30,000. Here's another master at work. Wow. Look at that guy. He's just filleting it like it's nothing. I've been told that some sushi knives can cost upward of $3,000. A lot of sushi knife makers, they actually come from old, tradi uh, old traditional samurai sword making families. And after the war was over, they had no use for their craft because no one was buying samurai swords anymore. So now they turned into sushi knife makers and they apply the same sword making principles to these sushi knives which is why these sushi knives stay sharp for a very, very long time and they're extremely reliable and they are super strong. You could take a sushi knife to a human and you can easily kill someone with one. See how fine he cuts it? It's like paper thin because he's really trying to not waste any piece. Look, he like shaves it off. Oh, he's just shaving off the outer coating before yeah. he fillets it? I think he is filleting. That is so cool. Even that sushi knife is shaped like a katana. Holy guacamole. Who knows, this guy might be a samurai, a knight. Look at that sword. So what keeps this place protected is the shrine ahead of us and it says water god. Every time you see a structure like that where it has the, um, the T-shaped thing, that's a shrine. And in Japan, they either have shrines or temples, and shrines are based off of Shintoism. <laughs> is the first Yoshinoya in the world. That's the delicious beef bowls that we have in the United States, but this is the first one. <laughs> oh, it was established in 1899? Wow. And it's still here, going strong. I really enjoy Japanese architecture. It's so minimalist. They took the Chinese design and they made it modern looking even though it's probably from like the 16th century. And the roof just looks like a samurai helmet and it looks aggressive and very masculine. It looks so cool. These guys are praying at the Shinto shrine. So what I just found out is that the director of Big Hero 6 came to Japan and he got inspired by the Shinto Shrine Bells and that's how he created the face for Baymax which is like the, one of the main characters of the movie and if you look underneath that's his face of Baymax the beloved Baymax how cuny and I learned something really cool too is here at the shrine they sell like good luck charms and with good luck charms obviously you want to take them with you and you want to walk away with it and you want to carry good luck in your life. But um, what they do is you see these trees here in the shrine. There's these and then there's those right over there. Yes. So all these little papers, those are uh, bad fortunes and you want to leave, like, or bad luck, you want to leave them here. So that's what those papers are. So people want to leave their bad luck and their bad fortune here. So you leave the bad here, but you take the good away with you. That's very cool. 
And the big lion head behind you looks so freaking cool. It is amazing. That guy looks beastly. He is beautiful. Fried fish cakes. Mmm. Oh man, it smells delicious. Every time the wind blows by, I believe that one is the fried shrimp and onion. And that's the one we're gonna get. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So, I got fish cake. But this one is with scallop. Oh, uh, sorry, shrimp and onion. Oh, hot. It's just freshly made, huh? Ooh, let me see the inside. Ooh. It's slightly fishy, very sweet, soft. Is it crispy? No, not really. Do you like it? Mm. It's yummy. It's oishi. Is it oishi? Oishi. Mm. Oishi high. Right here we got bonita flakes, which is dried fish flakes. And this is used all over Japanese cuisine in like miso soups. They use it in udon base. Um, it's also called gashi. And uh, they use it in almost every part of their cuisine they, they use bonita flakes. So uh, if you ever go, what's that signature Japanese taste? Bonita flakes, baby. <laughs> Some of the markets on this street have existed for over 150 years. For example, this green tea place, which I'm about to try. Outside you see modern technology and modern decor like that AC unit, but when you look deep down inside, you get to see signs from back in the day that they probably have uh, refurbished. And they get the green tea. That's for you, bartender. Oh, that's for me? Thank you very much. Arigato gozaimasu. Oh, that's good green tea. That's very good. It's very good. When you make a green tea, you can eat on you the very hot. This is the best green tea like I've ever had. Ever had. What does matcha mean? Matcha is a powdery green tea. Oh, so they, they, that, the ground. The flesh leaves are nice. you know, dry and are ground to dry green tea. So that's the difference between like Japanese green tea and other green tea where the other one they take green tea leaves and they brew it but Japanese they ground it first, right? Uh, the matcha is the ground. Yeah, ground, I see. And you also consume it by drinking all everything, tea yeah. itself. Yeah. But usually the, when you use the tea, you know, in the oh my pot. God. Yes. And of course you oh add some yeah. water yeah. and drink it. Yes. Yes. Gina-san. Gina-san. Vagina-san. This is a big freaking oyster though. We gotta take a picture, guys. This is like the biggest oyster ever. Okay. Sophie, that bitch. That's alright. <laughs> oh, it's dripping. Go, my bear. This thing is way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. How do I eat this? I think you just gotta slurp it up like a pervert. Oh, that was like a vagina. Is it fresh? I bet it's hella fresh. This is probably like the freshest oyster that any of us have ever eaten. Mm. How is it, my bear? Yeah, and we Damn, you wow. slurped yours up. Good. Well, I folded it up in a stick and I shoved it in my mouth. And you can also drink the, the juice. <laughs> wow. We call it a milk in the ocean. Oh, oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Your turn. This is a big oyster. Look how big it is. It's so good. It's super good. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> it's very creamy. Very creamy. Yeah. Yeah. Drink the juice. It's so fresh. Is that panzu? 
、so, ポン酢、ポン酢でソイソースとあとビネガーと、mm -hmm. サイズシートにグレーンカレーを食べたいです。I like it. That's the biggest oyster I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Me too. I had to slurp it multiple times. This is delicious. Here we got some Japanese Wagyu beef. Look at how marble this thing is. That's where all the flavors at. So, those of you guys who like shabu shabu, oh my goodness, you can just imagine how soft and how flavorful this is. Exactly. He knows what's up. <laughs> all right. Here's strawberry mochi. How is it?、Mm. You know what the significance of this is? They serve this on the first class Japanese airline flight.、Mm. So you're, you're indulging in the high class lifestyle right now. The strawberry is so sweet. Can I have the other bite? <laughs> I'm gonna give you a whole one. Okay, fine. Because、um, red bean has red bean paste in the center. It's sweet, but not that sweet. I think most of the sweetness comes from this. This strawberry. The Japanese organic strawberry that looks freaking like a model strawberry. <laughs> that looks yummy. Dang it. Can I have the camera? Oh,、don't... I thought you were going to feed it to me. Oh. Just feed it to me. Okay. What the heck? You're my wife. You're supposed to、well, feed it to me. Well, you've been taking it yourself this whole time. Oh my god. He put the whole thing in his mouth. I'll have it. It's okay. Thank you.、Mm. How do you taste anything? <laughs> Thank you.、Mm. Good to look at. What's crazy is the strawberry is sweeter than the sugar. That's how sweet the fruits are out here. It's crazy. This is how they make their egg omelet, the tamago. First, they coat the pan with oil. And then they put, the, put in the egg mixture that's already pre mixed. And that's that golden orange yellow organic egg that they have. And then they slowly, I guess, fry it. Or it's not even frying. It's so interesting because the egg has a steam texture. I'm Snapchatting this. Oh, the egg has a steam texture, but they actually pretty much just pan fry, which is really interesting. So that's the technique to get the steam texture. Right before it completely solidifies, he starts moving it around to get it, to give it its fluffiness. So you can see that he's continuously moving all the. Mixture around right before it solidifies to give it its fluffy texture. You're good. Why? Because you explained things very well. You're good. Thank you. Oh, and then he folded it over. He just flipped it over.、He、folded it over. I guess、flipped、that's、it? how they create all those layers、wow. to make it really fluffy. You can、oh, see how jiggly、wow. that thing is. Look at that. Oh. What an interesting cooking、so、technique for technique egg. So much technique goes into this egg. Oh, and now they add another layer of egg to it. This is amazing. Damn, they got. All the freaking egg on standby. That's crazy. You got a ton of it. Yeah, so they get the perfect. You know what's crazy? is, I believe this is all yolk. I don't think there's any egg white in there. Oh, wow. That's interesting. You know this is all yolk? I think so. It doesn't look like there's, oh, there's any egg white in there.
Ten eggs for one? Said that. Holy guacamole. And he's gonna create a layer. And he's probably gonna fold it over again. Okay, it's almost done. Now what's gonna happen? Yep, I knew it. That's how you create all the layers and the fluffiness. And now he's gonna create the shape of it. So now he's gonna create the shape of it. And then once that solidifies, he's gonna put the skewer sticks in it. And then it's ready to be chopped up and served. Oh, and behold, the finished product of the egg. A brick of egg. Right behind him. A brick of egg. Good job. Wow, and I think that makes like two of them. Smells. Cedarwood. Oh, it's like cinnamony. Really? Let me smell. Oh, wow, it smells really good. So we're gonna drink sake out of these cups. And they only drink it out of these cups on special occasions like weddings and stuff. And today we're gonna get to drink sake out of these cups because it tastes way different. The cedar adds a different aromatic touch to the sake. And um, I'm gonna drink only a little bit because I ain't trying to get turnt up in this motherfucker. So, I see a little bit. Uh, okay. A little bit, yeah. A little bit. Cedarwood cups. Okay, good, thank you. All right. That looks like a lot to me, but. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers mother monkeys. Team Ichiban. Oh, uh, nice. Oh, it's very good. Only one brewer? That was very good. It was good. Oh. Oh no, 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 it's just camera. It's a video. Video, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's very good. It was so smooth. And I don't usually drink alcohol, so when I do drink a little bit of alcohol, it usually burns me like a bitch. And I always make that face like, Eee! but it was uh, it was very good, and it was so smooth. Wow, I didn't even make that bitch face like. Eee! So to continue where I left off, this sake is actually very smooth, very sweet, and it's so good to the point where I think every time I'm presented with a cedar cup, I'm probably gonna take a shot that it's really good. And what's cool about this cedar cup? is that it has the mark of the store. So if it focuses, there we go. It actually says Yoshinoi, which is the maker of this sake retailer. And on the right is his signature mark of cedar because he makes these special cups. And he gave it to me as a gift. It's very cool. At this master knife maker place. And they make all kinds of freaking knives. Probably most of them non-combative and for culinary, but there are all kinds of very beautiful knives. And this is him himself. And he's also professional at wrapping with newspaper. But I think I'm gonna get one of these knives. I think I'm gonna get one. These things are awesome. Look at that guy. That's so cool, he's sharpening the knife. That is so cool. Wow. Look at that. That is beautiful. Look at that. At our final destination, where we're going to eat our sushi, we're going to eat our last meal of this food tour and we gotta be quiet probably oh. Carve your shoes 
Ooh, and here's Masush Magoosh. Got the tamago, we saw how that was made. We got the mackerel, sweet shrimp, salmon, and uh, we got tuna, probably snapper, and another tuna. Mm. And uh, Did you say you hate tuna back in the States? Yeah, I do. But out here, oh, oh, dang. I think I'm only going to eat tuna. Out here? Out here. The tuna out here is delicious. Oh, that miso soup is so aromatic. It smells fragrant. Man, it's so yummy. Is my face turning red? Oh, look at Bart's face now. I, I don't, I don't you look like so this tuna I color. Just, Am I? I knew it. I knew it. My face is hella red? Let me see. Is my face red, guys? He only, you can't tell on camera. But it looks really red. That's why he, and you only had that little thing of... I had a, I had a half a shot. And I finished doors like a man. You finished like a pink So the whole thing was like a whole, whole shot. So the traditional way to eat sushi is not with chopsticks, it's with your fingers. And? And? And when you dip it in this, I'll show you. Um, you're not supposed to dip the rice. You dip the fish. Yes. So, that's why they always, every sushi place in Japan that we've been to, has this towel to clean your fingertips, like this. And then you take the sushi and then you dip the fish not the rice and then the whole thing over the mouth at one time mm. <laughs> you can't really tell here but his face is really red let me see no i can't help you <laughs> I know, turn this way maybe. There, no, it's not working. That's, nope, you can't tell. But yeah, he's really red. Look at his face. You can look over here. That's why he doesn't drink. The allergies kick in. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> what do you feel? I just feel a red face. <laughs> oh, that's it? Yeah. Uh, my face feels... It feels like tight. David! 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 Can you call David? <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> Four sake? Oh man. Why'd you do it? Because <laughs> it was out of a cedar cup. I know, that's, <laughs> that's like my first time. I was I'm like, I gotta, I gotta try it. I'm proud of you, Bart. Yeah. It was bomb. What are you trying? It was, it was so smooth. Oh. See, I'm proud of you too, but you look like you're gonna die. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> but when in Rome, though, when in Rome, you gotta try it. When in Rome, you have to find a time. <laughs> <laughs> Sneeze so hard. He's trying to take a picture. He's trying to sneeze like an old man. 